morning everyone and welcome to a new vlog. We are up and out this morning and we are off for a breakfast in Disney's Contemporary Resort. That's a resort near Magic Kingdom. Yeah, We're a little bit tired, did the four park challenge yesterday, so a little bit more of a chill day today. Probably wouldn't have booked breakfast quite so early if we knew what we were doing yesterday, but we're up, it gets us out of the uh, villa and gets us on the road. It's currently 10 to 8, our breakfast is at 20 past, so we've got to get a move on. But uh, we'll catch you there, it's going to be exciting, somewhere we've not done before. Nice resort breakfast to start the day, we'll uh, see what food they've got, rate it as well. Yeah, I'm excited, yeah. Show you what sort of price it will be, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so breakfast today is at Steakhouse 71 in Contemporary. If any of you have tried it, let us know. Looking forward to it, never been here before. We've done the fast serving here. Yeah, but we've not done uh, the proper, proper restaurant. So you can park in the resort parking for free. You just have to show your reservation and your ID. So that's what we've done. A little bit overcast today as well, but we're not too worried. So get ourselves in, we're sort of bang on time. We'll uh, get situated. It's got a very nice entrance here, very, uh, very posh. We'll see what this is like. Steakhouse 71, love all the old pictures of the resort and the monorail, Magic Kingdom. Uh, did you start? We're saying that gondolas across the um, connecting the, the Magic Kingdom with the gondola system. We're saying would have been good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get ourselves checked in. So we're all checked in. We're going to be in there in that lovely looking restaurant. I do love all the artwork. So just taking a seat, they're going to call our name. They can either take your number and, and text you or they can call your name. We just decided to let them, they're going to call our name when they're ready. Yeah, all the artwork's nice. It's very, very nice in here. Very nice. If you've tried it before, as I've said, let us know. I, I think we I did look at the menu. It looks good. It looks nice. It's just a completely new thing to try this. Nice relaxing morning. Start with a nice breakfast. Okay, so our lovely server Rob has just gone through the menu with us. I'm going to show you all what we've got. Uh, there is a secret portion of adult sized Mickey waffles on here as well. Uh, different cocktails as well, Bloody Marys, things like that. Um, some interesting stuff on here. The seasonal pancakes today are, of course, in with the season. So, pumpkin pancakes. You've got loads of different options though. I, I liked it in here as well because I looked at the sides. You can sort of just build your own as well if you wanted. I might go for the Mickey Waffles with bacon, sausage, same as my other breakfast. I really like that. Oatmeal today. Oatmeal, eh? Yeah. Do you love a bit of oatmeal? Okay. Okay, interesting. Laura's gone for a coffee. I've gone for an apple juice. Mmm, interesting. How's your allergy menu then, Laura? Let's have a quick look at the uh, this the gluten-friendly allergy menu. You're not fancy an American breakfast, Laura, or Floridian eggs Benedict? No, the eggs Benedict has too many flavors in one for me because I'm not used to having that many flavors in one. Uh, okay. I've never had eggs Benedict before. I couldn't eat gluten, so I've never tried it. I never tried it. It's awesome. It's just a lot of flavors all in one. Too much for you. Yeah, too much. Here we go. That was very, very quick. Here's my bacon, sausage, and waffles. And here's Laura's. I think you'll enjoy that. Looks really good. It does look really good. Got my maple syrup to go on all of there. Yeah, it smells lovely. Those uh, potatoes smell amazing, Laura. Do love your. You get all the little slots to get all your syrup in. It tastes gorgeous with the bacon. It tastes really good. This is lovely. Really nice. Laura, how's that going down? Mine is beautiful. It's really garlicky, so I like it. Ribs nice. It's um, prime of Americans now. I don't know what it's in it is, but it's a nice cut of meat. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell the garlic. It does smell nice. It smells more like a dinner than a breakfast yeah. to me. 
Two very different breakfasts, but nice. Yeah, service has been good as well. Nice atmosphere, nice music. It's chilled, isn't it? Well, clean place. I demolished that. It was lovely. Really nice. Hit the spot that after a four-part challenge. Laura's still doing well with hairs. And that was delicious. Different type of waffles, but it feels a lot more American in here, which I think it's meant to be. Yeah. That was nice, that. We're all paid up and done, just to show you how much it was. The total was $42.92, which considering last time we went to Denny's, it was like $50. Yeah. We've got a lovely setting in here, lovely server, nice service. So it's not that much far off. And also, I've done the maths on this and Now, everything was separate and higher. Or was it in here? But the top of everything was included. Now, I went on that and then went on what we ordered at Topolinos, and if we would have ordered the same here, that would have been Topolinos. We would have ordered Topolinos, and then Topolinos, we've got counters. Yeah, and the views and stuff yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. No, it has been nice in here, I have enjoyed it. It's been very pleasant, service has been nice, lovely and clean. So yeah, there you go, just to show you the price. Don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day now, I've got to decide. Well, we're just heading out from breakfast. Just spotted this registration. Thought it was really cool. Disney fan, like that. Cool little private reg. It's good, that. Okay, so we've decided to come to Disney Springs while it's nice and quiet. I don't think the shop's open until 10, so we've got a little bit of uh, time to have a chill, maybe a Starbucks. And then we'll uh, have a little wander around Disney Springs. It's a little bit overcast today. We don't want to do any parks. We did a lot yesterday. And then we maybe try and do a little nature drive later or something like that. Maybe international drive tonight. We'll work it out. But yeah, it's a little bit of a chill, more chill day today. Yeah, after, after yesterday, Going with the flow. So busy. we loved yesterday, but it was a busy day, wasn't it? Yeah, I couldn't face one around theme parks again uh, today. Give it a little day off from the parks, I think. Yeah. Just do some different stuff. done the order with Starbucks I do like this one I love all the stuff that they've done uh, the Tower of Terror thing that's all a Haunted Mansion themed I really like that good little bit of artwork that so we're gonna grab our coffees we'll go out to the little view of the lake all the shops here open at 10 o'clock so we've got about 10 or 15 minutes till all the shops start to open perfect time to come lovely and quiet no hustle and bustle Laura's just popped to the loo Oh, this is nice and chilled. We might not have the perfect weather, but we've got nice views here by the side of the lake as we enjoy a little Starbs. A little bit of caffeine and caramel to get oh, yeah, you going, Laura. Yeah, the coffee in um, Contemporary was just a filter stuff. Yeah, you don't like American filter, do you? No, so this will do me well. Any particular shops you want to look in in Disney Springs that you like? Yeah, let's have a look at some different shops that we don't normally go in, even though we're not going to buy because I can't be buying any more stuff. There's loads of shops that I always want to go into that we never go yeah. into, just to have a look. I enjoy a good look around the uh, yeah. Christmas shop oh, and also the art favorite. shop is my favourite. Yeah, that's your favourite. Yeah. Just come into Disney style and we have spotted something new. These are new arrivals, these. I've seen a few posts on uh, Facebook about these in the groups. Oh, and these are new Christmas festive crocs that are like fluffy inside. They'd be nice in the winter then. Keep you nice and warm. So they're new. They're sixty-five dollars plus tax. You've got these fluffy oh, no. unicorn ones as well. Minions, Does look minions. a bit like the Minions unicorn. Could minions could well be. I'm not sure. There's some Mickey ones there as well. So there's some new arrivals. We are going to be checking out the World of Disney as well. They're nice. The Daisy ears. Yeah. It's only ten past ten, and there is already a mile long line for Gideon's Bakehouse. Are these cookies worth the line? Let me know in the comments. I could just never face waiting that long for a cookie. I, work, I don't wait that long for most rides. Never mind a, an uncooked cookie, but let me know, are they really that good? Are they worth the hype? The line goes all the way around the back of uh, the Asian restaurants. Mental, mental. <laughs> I think we'll carry on to the world of Disney. Yeah. Seen this little place here, this little pop up, and they've got boozy marshmallows. Whatever that means, they've got like a stout beer, pina colada flavour, Irish cream, different little marshmallow flavours. Interesting. Bit of a pina colada marshmallow for you. So, yeah, we're heading around towards uh, World of Disney. We'll go through that one, the next one, 
uh, into the Christmas shop, the art shop. This is our favourite section of shops over here. Yeah, That's heaven walking around at this hour. Gets uh, really, really popular, really busy in the evening time. Uh, rightly so, it is a good atmosphere down here. But yeah, if you want to just do a little bit of a quieter shop, definitely come in the morning time. Looking good, Laura. I think it's a must. That's a cute little hat, I think, think it's a must, definitely. Uh, even more now you turned it up. That's the one. Yeah, put it in your basket. That is definitely more you. Try that one. <clears throat> that's you. Yep, that's it. That's definitely you. 100%. I absolutely love all these purses. You've got those different kinds. Very Disney, but very, very nice. I like them. Let's have a look what else we've got here. Oh, this little mirror. That's cute. And of course, all the bags. They are very, very cute. Something for everyone really here. I mean, I've seen most of them before. However, I've not seen these four. That's, oh, what's her name? Wanda. Darth Vader. Star Wars one. Really, really nice these ones. Still, still love that one. Still absolutely in love with that one. But I got my pink one, which I love even more. You could just buy so many things in these shops. Seeing earrings that I liked the other day that I could have bought, but I just can't buy everything. There's so much. Even right down to Peter Pan Crocs. I mean, I hated Crocs when it came off the first time. I hate them even more now that's popular. But they're here and they're here to stay by the looks of it. And then look at these ones, these ones are nice. Haunted Mansion ones, I've not seen them before. They're really good. They've got plenty for everyone, and of course, they're nice suitcases. You wouldn't, you wouldn't lose that, would you, on a flight? The crystal shop now is always nice for a little wonder. You like that little hand we've got one of those but filled with uh, the little crystals that you can do over there some nice stuff in here it's always nice for a little wander around yeah we've done this before we've filled up one of the hands with your picky colors of the little crystals that go inside we did the mickey hand i don't think they do the mickey hand anymore that they've got the slippers and stuff that you can do a lot of Haunted Mansion merch here as well in the next store along. It's good, isn't it? Seems a little bit different. Just trying to pick out little different bits for you as we uh, wander around. Spotted a few things we like, but obviously we can't take it back without the suitcase, which is good. It stops us spending too much. Got all the nice candles here now. I love the candle section. A bit of a discount section here. Buy one, get one 50% off in this little corner. A few little jumpers and spivot jerseys and stuff. So you might get a few little, uh, buying a few things, get a few little bit of discount, bit of bargains going on. Even more Hunt Haunted Mansion now. You've got the Crocs, candle, little desk stand. There's the ears Laura's got. Hats, got a dress, shirt, everything here. What's the candle smell like, Laura? Can you test it? Oh, they're all sealed. I oh, know that one's open. Give that a test. Alright. Doesn't smell like the vibe though. That's what. No. I, that's. I thought they'd um, with this when they started doing the candles, they'd theme them to the rides, but they haven't. They've just sort of themed the the mugs, but the actual candle doesn't really smell anything like the rides. These are Christmas now then, so get your uh, Christmas uh, festive spirit in. Oh, our absolute favourite shop. Well, this is my absolute favourite shop. Christmas all year round. You know how much I love Christmas. Yeah. And it's, it smells of Christmas and everything in here. It really does put you in the mood. Put a little bit of Halloween merch in here at the moment, which is uh, nice. Keeps it all together. This little Halloween jumper I've not seen there before. That one's quite nice. We'll go into the Christmas section here. See what uh, ornaments, if you've got anything different from our last trip. You can get it all personalised as well, get your names on it, get your the year you came and stuff like that on there. There you go, there's a nice new figment one there for you. This uh, 
Bugs Life one is good and they've also got a new Finding Nemo one there as well. These are good, good quality as well. Much better than they have been recently. They're nice. How much is that, Laura? Let's check the price. $26.99 plus tax of $30 you're looking at for that. It's good though. Nice, a bit more like it. A bit more how it was. Quite a good one. Groot. Seen anything you've jumping out at your law or anything in particular you like on the look off? Here's a new one that we've not seen before with the parks in the middle. Yeah. Not sure if I like it or not. Is it like a baby balloon? Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. It's a good idea though. Yeah. I like the idea. Let's see uh, further around then goes to the bubble section. See if Laura picks something else. I like this one. This one's quite nice. Seem to have improved the accuracy of the painting and stuff on them. Quite like Maybe that. Maybe we'll see a vlog from last time. Maybe, yeah, I like, I like that. A little bit different. Here you go, Pirates Ride. Space Mountain. Right, here's the bubble section now then. So let's see what you fancy, Laura. You like that? Is that like tartan colours, is it? Yeah. Very Scottish. Very Christmas. Tom, very, very Scottish that oh. to me. It reminds me of Scotland. Love this one as well. That one. Yeah. Some of these quick. No, it wouldn't match our tree, but if you had that colour tree, I don't like that. That's that is tacky as hell, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, mega cheap and tacky that in my opinion. Looks a bit yeah, it just looks a bit like I mean you can see all the see all the sticker marks on that. Can you see that? Where they've like just stuck on the Tape of diamantes, I don't know. Like we last time. Yeah, They're quite nice good, though. yeah, simple. Quite an intricate one of, uh, yeah, that's a nice one as well, that one with the flowers on the top. Baubles wise, this would be my favourite. Love that with the snow effect. Love that, they're having fun. Really like that one. Don't think we get it home though, Laura, in our, in our suitcase, unfortunately. It's nice that though, yeah. That, that's my favourite so yeah. far, that one. Definitely. How much is that? 35. 35 plus We're the tax. Yeah, it's nice. Finished off really well oh, as well. Oh, that's plastic. That's even better. Ah, so it's a plastic one. So yeah, so you, so you could get it home then. I say this all the time. People love glass, and glass is beautiful, but plastic is just better. Yeah. It lasts longer. It's Can't tell. Yeah. It feels like if you drop it, it's a lot better for travelling, yeah. Yeah, so that could be one. You can get that yeah, could be. Yeah. I've got a little ornament set here as well, Disney 100. And then a little bauble next like to it. It's different, isn't it? Different yeah. to what we've got. I'd still rather have the snowy one though. So now we're in my favourite here, which is the art store. So you've got all the figurines here, but it's all of this nice artwork that I like to have a look at. Love to own some pieces, but I enjoy just looking as well. Yeah, I've always liked that one up there as well, the cruise one. Some lovely stuff in here. Some more expensive than others, if you've got the spare 20 grand for Walt Disney's signature. It's there. <laughs> if you've got a spare 20k knocking around. This figure's quite nice, I like that. It's quite nice, that one seems a little bit different. You've got all the different castles, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo and Paris as well. Not quite as much as many art pieces anymore. That used to be a whole wall over there of their prints. Have they stopped selling the prints now? There's some prints here, but not as many as there used to be. Yeah. Doom Buggy's another really good one, isn't it? With the three, three of them in there. I like that one. Doom Buggy, $75. Still one of my favourites, this one. Are these two here, the four seasons and the four different parks mm -hmm. in those frames though. Yeah. And they are 169. They're not a terrible price with the frame and everything. They are nice then. I like them. Because if you home, you wouldn't get a nice enough frame to fit it. You'd no, have you'd have to get these. it custom made. Yeah, you'd have to buy the frame with it. I do like that. They're my favourites, I think. These are new and different, quite shiny as you move. It's just a shame. I don't like the characters on it. I don't like the way they've done. I don't like that Mickey. No. But I like I like the idea though. As you move, they do sort of glisten that shine on the metal. And these are new as well. These ones. 
where they've like got a glass piece over them. They're different. Forest Cafe getting a little bit of a refurb on the outside, doing it up a little bit. Looking a little bit different, we can have a bit more lava flow by the looks of it, all nice colours on there. So that's been done up a little bit. Swells on the water, you can get nice ice cream there. You can do little ice cream floats and there you go, there's the balloon gone up as well. Starting to brighten up now, see those blue skies. Got a haunted mansion cone there. Pistachio and purple cheesecake soft serve. That looks interesting. Dole whip in there as well. Now let's see, the balloon's just gone up and started testing. Into Uniqlo. These do some cheaper uh, Disney stuff. Some nice Disney tops here. And these are only $15. So you get some really nice ones. Only $15. That's nice. That one. Different. So yeah, you can come in and get quite a nice few different t-shirts and stuff and it's all a lot cheaper in here Uniqlo quite nice aren't they for $15, $15. no you can't go wrong you've got like Snow White ones and Daisy Duck and Donald that one's 25 a bit more on it though to be fair let's have a little look see what else they've got Steamboat Willie I saw some Hulk stuff as well here you go Monsters Inc Toy Story these are all a little bit more budget friendly, 25. These ones on sale, $10, a little bit funky. There's some good deals in here, some good prices on stuff. Got kids as well, all Disney themed. Pick up a couple of good deals, can't you, on some of the t-shirts and stuff, especially for the kids. Nice little simple stuff, aren't they? Yeah. You got any of them, Laura? Well, I want to try this. This is meant to be amazing now. I've been trying to find a dupe to this because you can get a dupe to it, a big massive one for like four, five, six quid. So I'm going to try the little one for 12 quid. It's expensive. Right. I'm going to try it. It's meant to be like amazing. Okay. I absolutely love Rare Beauty. I probably won't end up buying anything, but I do want the tinted moisturiser. I think we've got enough. Yeah, but these highlighters <laughs> are gorgeous. Look at that. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh my god. <laughs> women, women do. Yeah. Even I've now been sucked in. I'm getting some gorgeous foundation to even out my face, aren't I? I'm not really. I am getting some of this face cream. Now, I struggle with my face. If you've watched the vlogs before, you see I react to some creams and stuff and some yeah, things, and my face goes red. really red yeah. and dries up. So the ladies recommended this. I've sampled it, tried it. It feels really nice. So I'm going to give it a go. Hydrating day cream anti-pollution i'm gonna give it a go you need a little bit as well yeah. it's 50 dollars, but it's quite a big tub you only need a little bit of it to go exactly. cover your whole I face it was going to be because yeah. it's an expensive brand it's nice. it feels nice brand. on my face yeah, face feels nice now tokyo, so tokyo. Yeah. there you go if you saw our vlog at the outlet i picked up one of these shirts in the columbia outlet and i've been wearing it a lot i've washed it a few times because i keep wanting to wear it really really cool yeah, really, really, really cool for the parks and they dry dead quick so I just picked up another one. I've picked up this one and I'm going to get my dad one as well. I'm going to get dad that one for him to try because he loves cool shirts. They are really nice. They're fishing tops, but they've got like the little vents in the back. Just allows like the air through and it's like you feel your back sweating a bit. Next minute it's all gone and dry. Yeah. Okay, so since the weather has improved and the balloon is running and everything, we're going to try and do it. We've been saying we're going to do it for loads of trips. And then we've never done it. So we're going to try and give it a go. And let's see if we can get on it. So if you see a few people queuing up. It's at $25 each. We'll let you know if it's worth it. See what sort of views we get up there. Never done it. Always say we're going to do it. And we're never sort of here at the right time. Or we come and it's down. Or it's not working. If it gets a bit windy or anything. They, they stop the balloon. So let's see if we're definitely running. See if we can get on there. Looks like it definitely is. Just going up now I think. There you go. There's people queuing up. And there's uh, some people already going up there now. Look at that. Gorgeous view. Looking forward to it. In this vlog to new heights now. We're all booked in. It was with taxes for two adults, $53.25. We will see if it's worth it. We've been meaning to do it for quite a few trips. So let's do it. Let's uh, get ourselves on there and give it a go. It does go quite high. We should get some good views of Disney World from up there. 
It's a little bit of a queue already. It's only quarter to 12 and quite a few people already getting themselves on there. I think probably the best time to do it is the morning. Definitely, Just yeah, before the sort of weather can come in Can morning. change in the afternoon, yeah. yeah. And I've got my sunglasses. You excited? Nervous? Excited, it'd be nice. Yeah? Yeah, nice up there. Here we go then, we're getting on. You nervous, Laura? Heights, scared. They used to actually have one of these in Tenerife, believe it or not. Yeah, they used to have one of these in Tenerife years ago. Oh, here we go. We'll go left or right. What are you thinking, Laura? Go left. Hey, it's already swaying quite a bit. I know. Oh, hey, might be nervous okay. now. I mean, there's not much holding us together. I know. Really. Might be a little bit. Might be a bit nervous. Oh, you'll be all blowy when you get up there. Well, that might be. Might be like soaring. Oh, yeah. We're going to feel a little motion, so make sure we're holding on to those hands right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, see, I told you we going to move a bit, didn't I? Hey, hey. They got heavy on this one. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot more uh, movie than I thought it was going to be. A lot more. I think people need to move over that way before. We've got a little bit of a bump right here. And we're going to go up a little bit faster. One more bump than we're done. Oh, hey. I like how we just explained the little bumps to us yeah. so we didn't feel stressed out. Yeah. yeah. Explained everything. Oh, hey, very. Already getting some amazing views. You can see right across to uh, Fun Spot over there. That's Gaylord Palms Resort. And we're going to get some good views as we look around in a minute. Right above Disney Springs. So peaceful just working our way down now and still soaking up those views. I think if you're scared of heights, it's probably not the one for you, is it? I think you would struggle if you were scared of heights, maybe. If you're a little bit scared of heights, I'd say you're probably scared. You're really scared of heights, yeah, definitely not. But it is really yeah. safe. It doesn't move around. It's like, no, it is. It's supposed yeah. to be a bit movie. They won't bring you yeah. up here. So no, as soon as it gets windy, they, they don't yeah. uh, allow it up, do they? Well, there you go, balloon complete. We finally did it. It was very quick, I would say. We don't we only get a few minutes up there, but the views are amazing. Well, views are I just mean, as good as when you do the helicopter ride. No, I've ticked it off the list. We did just keep saying we we're going to do it all of these trips have been coming. So we've ticked it off. We did get nice views up there. Yeah, it was good, good fun. I mean, you can see a lot of people are coming on it. It is peaceful up there as well, relaxing. Um, yeah, it could be a little bit longer, a few more minutes up there maybe, or yeah, just a few more minutes longer would be better. But that was good, did enjoy it. We think we'd have fun getting Dad on there. Well, balloon ride all done. So we're just popping to Coke now that will cool down. You can meet the Coca-Cola bear in here at 12, 1 30, 3, 5, 6 30 and 8. You can go in and get your picture with the uh, Coca-Cola bear. I do like all the Coke merch. Well then, look at that for a fluffy pyjama, all the pyjamas and it's one of those big shawl things, yeah. You've got a full body suit if you want one, Laura, if it's not warm enough for you in Tenerife in the winter. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? A big long jumper thing with the socks. There you go, Laura, that's more you, isn't it? There you go, you get the little fluffy shorts as well. There, that big thing. Yeah, too much. Nothing's too much for you. You're always cold. Some cool tops in here and spirit jerseys and jumpers and hats and stuff. It's got a fun wacky one. Just good in here and then upstairs there is a little, little uh, like Coca-Cola bar where you can get Coke drinks and, and buy all little key rings and we've got a couple of little Christmas decorations. They do good Christmas decorations in here as well. I'll just show you some. You've got all your Tardises as well and flasks. Keep all your drinks cold or warm. 
little shot glasses. They got frozen Powerade sticks there, ice lollies, they'd be amazing. Oh, yeah. Frozen Powerade sticks, oh, I'd like one of them. They'd be amazing. With the cool glasses, different car air fresheners, magnets, that's a nice one. Got loads of stuff in here. If you like any of these sort of drinks, ooh, does this smell of Coke Cherry? But it does, doesn't it? Ooh, it does, yeah. Ooh. That is, yeah. yeah. Nice, that. Love all these glasses, these are really cool. These different sippers, these old school stuff. So, see if I was having like a house party, I'd put all the Coke in them. Little pourers, bottle openers. Loads of really cool stuff in here. Got Coca-Cola Bert stone bottles. They're good as well, aren't they? Clever, aren't they? Where's December? I'm down there. I'm a nicer color than you. Ha <laughs> I don't know about you, Laura, but now I'm really tempted for a Coke. <laughs> I could just drink a Coca-Cola now, proper ice cold Coca-Cola. Yeah, a little pocket straw that you can take around. Time again, we're going to do the same as last time. I'm going to get my chicken guys, which I love. Laura's going to get her Blaze pizza, and we're going to meet here and have lunch. I love chicken guy, Laura loves Blaze, so we might as well split off and have our favourites. I'm okay, thank you. And then we'll uh, meet up together. But today I've gone for a chicken sandwich with cheese on it. And then I've got teriyaki sauce on the side and a little bit of tomato as well. So I'll try a sandwich today, see if it's a bit different. Well, my chicken sandwich was lovely. Laura's now arrived back with her pizza. Just yeah. gone nice and simple margarita today. Yeah, okay. double cheese and buffalo sauce. Mm. Nice, job done. You'll yeah. enjoy that. And then we're gonna go back to the villa and have a bit of a chill. Need to film our villa tour as well, get all the b-roll and stuff yeah. like that. So a little bit more chill, but a nice little few hours out this morning. It's good to get out in the morning and have the breakfast. Now we're probably not gonna have lunch, have dinner now. Now we've had yeah. a big lunch, we're not gonna have dinner. We just have like a snack for dinner, but yeah, it's been good. Well, good afternoon, everyone. We've just been having a little bit of a chill since we got back. I had a little bit of a nap, feel quite refreshed. Weather's still quite nice outside. And we're just going to see what happens this afternoon. I don't know where we're going to be going. I have done an Instagram Q&A, so we're going to be answering some of your Florida questions in the vlog. Uh, so if you do get a shout out, that's because you've responded to the Instagram Q&A. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, do give me a follow. I do sometimes do these little Q&As where I answer everyone uh, in the vlog. So I'll answer as many as I can, uh, the most relevant ones as well. Uh, so we'll be doing that in a little bit. And then we'll see what happens the rest of the evening. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing. Uh, it's a bit of a, as I said, chill day today. So yeah, I feel nice and fresh. Been just sitting out here by the pool a little bit. Did a little bit of editing, answered some emails, uh, replied to the builder, things like that. I've always got little bits and bobs to be doing. So uh, it's been nice and chill this afternoon. Laura's just had a bit of a relax as well. And then we're going to head out. We'll see where we end up. Okay then, Laura, we're off. Yeah. Look very nice, different hairstyle. New makeup, is that? Yeah, thought I'd give myself a little go. You know what I mean? Like it? Big sense of pity. Very know. nice. So we're just going to go out and have a bit of a tool down the highway. You want to pop into a Walgreens or a CVS. Got a little bit of a tickly throat, haven't you? Yeah, so you can hear it already, yes. Yeah, just a little bit bunged up. Maybe more just sort of run down, really, but you want a bit of de yeah. decongestant. We'll have a little, we like a little wander around there anyway. Might try and find oh, those scream eggs. I've been trying to find the Walmart do sell one. Right. You just can't get them. Um, you can get them off Amazon, and you can you can actually click and collect them. Dab those stations. Right. You can just collect it from one of those stations. I did have a look. The problem is, no suitcase. Though. I don't know how many I'd eat. You have to order a big box of them or something. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, but that's a, yeah, but I'm gonna get them all I out. Know. We only need like a pack of six, don't we? I know. Yeah. So we'll keep looking for them. We'll keep mooching, we'll have a little toot around, see what happens, maybe grab a little ice cream or something, a yeah. twisty treat or something oh, as well nice. as a treat. Yeah. And then we will probably come back and probably catch an early night to make sure we're nice and fresh for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's then the weekend, so I think tomorrow I'd like to try and get up and do early entry at Universal. Yeah. Because the highway's lovely and quiet at the weekends, isn't it, to get down yeah, there. Really nice, yeah. So we'll probably just have, again, I'll come back and edit. I've been trying to get the vlogs up a little bit quicker this series. Uh, watch a bit of TV and then try and get an early night so we're nice and fresh for the morning because we're still catching up from our mental day yesterday. Four parks, one day. At this point yesterday, we were uh, trying to come out of... Oh, Magic um, Kingdom. Yeah. Magic Kingdom. We were like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. We're, yeah. not, we're not going to make it. 
Yeah, yeah no, we did. We were, we were like stressing, leaving yeah. Magic Kingdom, so, yeah. Bit of a contrast today, a lot more uh, relaxed. Let's relaxed. jump in the car and see where we end up. So all day we've been seeing these tents outside people's houses and we've been like, what is it? What's going on? And what are the symbols? Because I've got some symbols inside it. This one, you can see it. And I've just seen this, same as this young lad here with the little hats on. Now, I don't know what they're called, but I do know that is a Jewish religion, a Jewish faith. So I think we've got a little Jewish holiday going on because and there's a lot, a lot of uh, Jewish families on this complex. So I think there's a Jewish holiday. So I'm going to look into that when I get... Wi -Fi. Have a look, yeah. I've seen all the tents springing up, but at first I thought it was something to do with Halloween, yeah. like trick or treating or something, but I think it's to do with the Jewish holiday. So, whatever th the holiday is, let us know. See what they know. think, they're almost eating those tents outside the front. We'll wait, we'll have a little look into it. Never seen it before. Interesting, we'll have a little look into it. Yeah. And uh, see what's going on. There's quite a few of them on our street. So, whether they all meet together and all meet up, or because imagine in the middle, of the, the middle of the day it'd be hot in those tents. So, you must do it in the evening time. Might be in the evening. Well, or... some religions are evening time religions and they do things in the night, so mm. don't know. You'll find so out. So I'm going to research the holiday now. What date is it? 29th of September? 29th of September. So I'm going to yeah. research that. As I say, America's got a really big Jewish community, haven't they? It looks like it's going to be this weekend that they're going to be doing yeah. something, doesn't it? So it'll be interesting to see. So quickly going to pop into Walmart. Needs some petrol. Uh, we've gone through another $30 worth. So we've done $60 in just over a week. It's not too bad. Not too bad. $60 in a week in the uh, Nissan Rogue. Not quite as economical, I will say, as the uh, RAV4 that we had. The RAV4 yeah, really had one good. of those eco buttons. This one doesn't. So it's, it seems to go through it a little bit quicker. But uh, yeah, fuel-wise, I always like to give a few tips about it. Don't forget that the petrol over here is actually a black nozzle. So the black nozzle in the UK and in Europe would normally mean diesel. Here it's gas, petrol. Crazy. And most of, the car, most of the cars you rent, double check, but I've never ever had a diesel rent a car. They're always, always gas, petrol. And the gas here is $3.29 a gallon. Remember, it's not a litre here. So is that good price? It's not too bad. Not too it's not bad. Too bad. It's not there as bad as go. England. It's not as cheap as Tenerife, though. One, oh, no, yeah. One twenty odd a litre. They're not as cheap as that. So yeah, I'm just going to shove another 30 in. That'll keep us going for another bit, of, probably most of next week. Yeah. See how we get on. Then we have to drop it back full, obviously. But yeah, don't forget about that nozzle. Uh, you can either pay by card, put your card in the machine. I always have trouble with that. I normally just pop in. I'll say $30 on pump nine. Fill it up and then go. I find that a bit easier, yeah. but you can put your card in and stuff, but it never works for me. Here we are then, Walgreens on the 192. We're gonna just have a little tour down the 192, aren't we? We'll give everyone a little bit of a tour, show you yeah. what's on 192 if you've not been before. There's so many restaurants and shops and all kinds on Highway 192. It runs for miles and miles and miles. Obviously we can't cover it all, but this sort of section here, the most popular around Disney, Celebration, loads going yeah, on. So if you are staying on around these areas and you've got a car, good way to have a drive and see something new and find maybe a new restaurants. Yeah, or a lot of people will be staying in villas or hotels on this highway as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to head into Walgreens, have a little moochie. They do have a lot of sweets and stuff in here as well. And then I might even grab a little Dunkin' Donut. I might grab a Dunkin' Donut to compare and see Which is if better. a Dunkin' Donut is better than a Krispy Kreme. It's a good question. A lot of people love the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I might try one of the donuts for a change. Oh, you can smell pumpkin spice as soon as you walk in. Spotlessly clean in here. So you've got all kinds of beauty products, hair products and stuff. Laura's going to look at all the uh, makeup. But I am more interested in all of these goodies here. Just going to see if they've got any of those scream eggs. You watch, we'll leave next week and someone will say they've found where the scream eggs are. And we'll be devastated. Ooh, what are they? Sour chewy crawlers. Ooh. They could be interesting. Sour chewy crawlers. They're just like um, sour worms, aren't they? Oh yeah, it's just those. 
those uh, worms. Nothing really new or interesting to try this trip, really. Nothing jumping out that's different that I've not had before. Uh, still haven't got the one that Dad liked either in the Cadbury's. No, not happening. That's a shame, but we shall keep looking. You never know where we're going to find it. Dove is your equivalent to your galaxy. All the kick, I like Kit Kats over here. They're a little bit different, chocolate wise. No, it's not happening. I'm going to try a Dunkin' Donut next door instead. Well, what's the best shop for Prime? Walgreens. I'm going to get a few bottles of this. Uh, can, you grab a, can, I, can you grab me another two, please, Laura? One of each again. Uh, in fact, $2.49. Yeah, I should have got a basket, shouldn't I? Didn't think I'd be picking up loads of Prime. Uh, do they do baskets or is it just trolleys? No, little mini trolley. There you go. Now we're really shopping. Now I'll take that home and try that out for once. Not more beauty stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> bingo, bingo. Did you find your cream eggs? No, unfortunately not, I'm afraid. No scream eggs. It's not happening. So I've just spotted some of these candles. You know I love candles. That spa waters is lovely. A bit like soaring. $11 for that big one. Let's just have a little go of this Bahama Breeze. I've never smelled this one before from Yankee. Oh no. Very, very sweet cocktail, that one. And the other one I wanted to try was Mid Midsummer's Night. That uh, sounds quite interesting. Ooh, that's quite nice, yeah. It's quite nice, that. Midsummer's nice. I like that one. But that one's a good deal. $11. It smells a bit like saw in that one. Then here's all your uh, insect repeller. Mentioned this about the Disney resorts. If you're going anywhere near water for an evening time, do make sure you put a little bit of uh, insect repellent on. They do have mosquitoes over here. So here's all your flu and cough medicine. If you're traveling with a suitcase, you could always bring some just in case you pick something up like Laura has. But uh, when you're traveling light like us, just pop in and buy something. It's uh, first trip in a while, Laura's picked up a little bug or something. So we'll uh, pick up some stuff. Got all kinds in here though. Absolutely loads. Day and night, day quill, night quill. All kinds, cough relief. It's all going on. Absolutely loads. Tylenol, always sounds dead strong that Tylenol. Extra strength, it's Tylenol. Not that strong. Sounds strong though, doesn't it? It's got one of those names, hasn't it? So while Laura's been looking at makeup and uh, medication, I've been going around the shop, picking up loads of random, weird American stuff to try. Yes. And at the end of this video, we're gonna be trying it all. We're talking beef jerky, funky flavored crisps, weird flavored sweets, and a weird drink. Yeah. We're gonna be trying it's it travel, yeah. just for funsies. See loads of people doing it on TikTok and our little challenges, trying different stuff. So I picked up the randomest, weirdest stuff, beef jerky. I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna struggle trying it. Well. Oh no, I think I've got enough now. If I had to go and pay our bill, got loads of Prime in there and all, look at that. It's gonna be an expensive bill. Laura's found some Stranger Things. What are these mischief character lights? They're good, aren't they? Playing a little bit of a tune. Good, that. Quite good little mugs and stuff here. Here's all your uh, candy corn flavored stuff. All your Halloween stuff now. See if there's any of this to try. Right, well, we've got everything we needed in Walgreens and now I'm gonna have a quick look in Dunkin' Donuts. I wanna see if there's a nice donut for me to try. Just one, I don't want to do a whole box. Just one donut to try would be nice. Well, I didn't know they did the uh, loads of different ice creams as well, don't they? Ah, right. So they're sharing it, clever, sharing the cost. So we've got ice cream in this one. It's a cool little uh, waffle cone, isn't it? Like a bowl cone. See all the chocolate dip cones over there. Right, okay, well, I'm not really feeling an ice cream, unless you are, Laura. No. They do a polar pizza up there, an ice cream treat. Jeez, you can eat it like a pizza. Wow. Okay, we're in line for this. Let's see if there's any interesting donuts. Well, fantastic service from Dunkin' Donuts. We've just been in and I said, I just want one classic sugar uh, chocolate donut. He was like, is that it? I was like, yeah, just, just one donut. So then he grabbed another one. I was like, oh, okay, he's gonna give us one donut free. And then he was like, no charge, it's free. So we've got two chocolate donuts for nothing out of nowhere. So we uh, made up with that. I'm gonna sit I'm gonna sit in the car now and try. You've got yeah. two chocolate covered donuts there, didn't have the full range. 
they'd uh, sold out quite a few hadn't they yeah so i'm gonna give that a try yeah. let me see if it's uh what it's like fully chocolate covered donut i wish you could have one laura unfortunately not gluten free but lovely nice sky tonight as well gorgeous temperature this trip has been lovely temperature wise so much cooler than when we were here last year it's made a difference coming later later in september into october made a big difference yeah. i mean it's all luck you could come late october late september october and it's still boiling hot, hot and they have a heat wave a but this is lovely really oh, no, comfortable nice. right so take a bite okay so one thing to note i thought it's going to be a chocolate covered donut it's not it's a chocolate donut the donut is chocolate and then it's sugar glazed Mm. It's okay. Would it be better if it was a normal donut with chocolate cover? Yeah, I prefer. I don't, I, yeah, I don't like. It's more just like a chocolate cake, really, than a. Ah, yeah, it might be baked, mate, isn't it? It's very cakey. Yeah, rather it might than. Be. Mm. Yeah, so that might be a cakey donut, like not fried. It's just like baked. eating chocolate cake with a very light bit of sugar on. I like to have a bit of hard chocolate or. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, but I need a bit of like a coffee to go with it, or something to make it a bit more moist. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Strange. It's just a. Mm. Let's have a smell. Mm. Oh. Well, it certainly smells like a donut. It smells like sweet chocolate cake to me. When you can't eat wheat, mm. trust me, you can smell. That's definitely a donut. It is nice. It's a donut batter. I'd just rather have some. I'd rather have hard chocolate yeah, around it. Yeah, now I get you, yeah. So on the right there, we've got Celebration and Publix. Really nice. We still, we still need to pop into Publix. We're going to have a little look in there. I'm definitely going to pick up some of my favourite key lime cheesecakes as well. And then you can see some of the other stuff you've got on here. Your Golden Corral, IHOP, Denny's, Waffle House. Loads of those. And then coming up on the right-hand side is a place we're gonna to go to tomorrow night, Saturday night, uh, and that is Old Town. A lot of you like it there, it's quite a unique feel. And on a Saturday, they have this really cool car show going on, where everyone comes down in their classic cars, there's a real good atmosphere about the place. Um, yeah, everyone's sort of admiring the cars, and they have a little drive around and stuff. There's a, a fun spot there as well. So we're gonna go down there tomorrow night, I think when all the action's going on, you've got all those cars around and we'll have a little mooch around Old Town. Then a lot of the other things along this highway are gonna be those discount uh, Disney stores where you can get uh, some of the cheaper Disney merch, Disney magnets, key rings, uh, souvenirs, things like that. But yeah, Old Town there on the right, I think we're gonna go there tomorrow night and have a little look around there. What do you think, Laura? Yeah. You haven't been the last couple of trips, have we? No, and there is that, there's a couple of little shops in there that are really oh, good. You've got really, a really good. pair of ears or a lounge fly. I've got there, a lounge fly and that was discounted from there, yeah. Mm. So, we'll be in there tomorrow. You actually, Laura, have, a while, it was a few years ago before we were vlogging, you've done that big scary that swing big thing, swing. haven't you? Let me tell you, that was not a swing. That was a drop. I thought it was going to be a swing. I went on, on it with Scott. You have to release yourself. So they shout, three, two, one, go. And you have to pull a little thing and it releases you. And it's not a swing. You're just dropping face first to the ground, into the water, and then you swing at the very, very end. It is scary. I wouldn't do it on my own purely because I wouldn't be able to release myself. It'll That's why I went on with string. Scott. Yeah. yeah. But super fun, so scary. But definitely worth doing if you want to really push your boundaries sure no i couldn't do it. it's too scary for me i couldn't do that either the slingshot you see someone's there ready to do you that see, look at that yeah i would want i want to do the slingshot but again I don't think i could do it on my own and i won't do it with you yeah you're not getting me on there <laughs> so no if chance. i find somebody brave enough or you know stupid enough to come on it with me i'll do it but yeah i do want to try that you know you know me and a little bit of danger i like it as long as i've got somebody to go on it with yeah. I mean, you've got all the eateries you can think of down here. Red, Red Lobster, Lobster, KFC, McDonald's was on the other side, uh, Denny. So it's a good highway, really, to come and eat on. And it's a little bit easier to park at these restaurants than I drive, a little bit, a little bit easier. 
Yeah, because um, yeah, I drive just chaos, isn't it? It can be very busy, and then <coughs> the car parks I think aren't quite as big on I Drive because they've got a lot more going on. Yeah. These car parks outside the restaurants seem to be a little bit bigger. A bit, little bit further up, we're coming up to the chilies that we go to all the time. Oh, we'll show you our favourite chilies. And that's always dead easy to park as well. Yeah, outside they've that. got chilies and Uno, um, an Italian, haven't they as well? Yeah. Yeah, they've got loads next to each other there as well. So. You can enjoy enjoy that. There's a waffle house down here, and also there's that flea market just there. Now we've been Thrift. to that. Yeah. Flea market. Dollar one, one ninety nine store next to it as well, next to the thrift store. Yeah. And, and there's a food trucks heaven down there. We been to that flea market. We found it a bit weird, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, a lot of it was like. Um, Florida. Um, it was more for residents, like appliances and things like that yeah. were in there and stuff like that. Uh, we've got the big orange there. We might one day take a drive to that uh, big place that sells all the Disney stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, it's about an hour's drive. It is. Page of Mr. Marrow goes all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, we that's really good. Oh, go yeah, that'll be that. good. If it's um, a cloudy day or whatever. Yeah, if we get an overcast day, you should go tootle down there. Yeah, Longhorn Steakhouse, that's Longhorn. another one we're hopefully going to try this trip. Yeah. It's been really recommended to us, meant to be really, really good value. And there's our chilies there on the right hand Ooh, side. Oh, there it is, just hiding behind that little post there. We do like the chilies. So we've got Uno. We went there the first time, absolutely loved it. When we your family, yeah. didn't have the best time, did we? No, we did the one on International Drive and it was amazing. And we were like, oh, you've got to come to Uno with us, it's great. And da da da. And then we took them here and it, was, it wasn't the best meal, unfortunately, that we had. Maybe we just had an off night, but it um, put us off a little bit. And then got macaroni grill. You just all kinds. What's nice about driving along here is you can tool along. There's plenty of lights, so you know it's not a super fast moving road. There's Krispy Kreme. Now oh, that's oh no, you like it, Krispy, Yeah. And right now the lights on, so they got hot, fresh Krispy Kremes coming out right now. Yeah, it's nice. But yeah, going back, I mean, it's it's not a super quick moving road, so you can just tootle along. You can have a little look at what's going on either side of as you're driving along. You've got Aldi there on the right. We have filmed that once before on a trip. There's a couple of other, there's a popsicle shop there, a nail shop, some more food, little Caesars. So it means plenty. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's a great place to save some money, Dollar Tree. They kicked us out for filming last time. <laughs> but Dollar Tree, you can get some good deals in there. Uh, it's worth popping in, especially on like sweets and drinks and stuff, Dollar Tree. Yeah, definitely. It's a good one, they just don't like you filming, so we take you in, but they uh, kicked us out last time because they didn't like us filming. There's just all kinds, you could film for miles and miles and miles, and then, you know, every every sort of three or four miles there's an IHOP again and a Perkins again, and then another three miles there'll be another IHOP. Then a Denny's. And there you go, there's another Walgreens. Here Same as go. where we've just been a few miles back. But that's where it's always tootling down. There's loads to see, loads of different places to pop into. All your restaurants are on here. And it's right near Disney World 192. It's all signposted as you come out of Disney World yeah. to get to 192 as well. So it's pretty easy. And just over here, you've got a TGI Fridays. Now also to mention on the other side, there is also a couple we've missed, I've just gone past one of them, are a couple of the helicopter tour places. Ah, yeah. So there's a couple of helicopter tours. We did one from here last time and it was a little bit cheaper than the, the one on iDrive. So that's yeah, another thing that's on here. Popeyes, more gift shops. Yeah. We're just enjoying a little tootle, just relaxing. We're not running around theme parks today. Conserving a bit of energy ready for tomorrow. We're gonna to be up early tomorrow. And then we're going to do Old Town tomorrow night as well. We're going to eat somewhere new tonight as well. Maybe that Longhorn we could do tomorrow night. Yeah, we could do, Then across yeah. into uh, yeah. Old Town. That seems nice like a good steak. plan. Yeah. Old Town, something like that. You've got loads of little things as well, like a dive shop over there. So if you were going to the coast, it's a little proper dive shop with all your diving equipment in there. Yeah. Little hotels, motels. Oh, and there's one that a lot of people keep recommending that we're going to have to pop into as well. Ross Dress for Less. I know, yeah. I, I, I wonder what it looks like inside. Everyone keeps saying, since seeing our outlet video earlier on in the trip, and we were saying about well, the outlet's not quite as, as good value way, as they used yeah. to be, 
a lot of people have said try uh, Ross Dress for Less, so that's another one we're going to have to have a little uh, nosy I mean, into. We're I not going to be Laura. in trouble if we go in there and see everything they want to buy, are we? No. But then, <laughs> good luck getting in your case with everything we bought already. In I your know, luggage. I was organising it all today. Yeah. Also, Marshalls, everyone tells us. We've also got Target down here, Marshalls, a Miami Grill. Loads, just, just so much. Pop shelf, whatever that is. There's a lot to go. We've done about six or six miles or so so far. Just tooling along. You could spend your whole two week holiday on this road alone. Panda Express, another Denny's. There's a um, mini golf, is that? And something's been torn down there on the oh, right. They've God, demolished yes, something there. Big. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wonder what it was. There was a lot going there, wasn't there? Yeah, it's going to become something else. Yeah. We've got a Sam's Club. Got Applebee's. Wendy's, just good to show you yeah. what's down here because a lot of people don't realise just how much is on 192. There's an awful lot on here. Another McDonald's coming up. So yeah, we're gonna have a little tool along, see what happens, and then if not, we're gonna see you at home because we've got to try those few different snacks. Oh yeah, I'm those interesting for that. snacks we've got. We might pull over and have a little mooch in one of these shops in a minute. Oh that'd be nice, I'd enjoy that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be fun trying those snacks. I've got a little bit of a challenge for Laura as well with the, one of the things oh, I bought. No. <laughs> so we just stopped off here at T-Mobile because we've been having trouble with data roaming and things like that. I thought, let's just go and buy a... a we've been just using Wi-Fi in the parks, but, you know, we're getting around Google Maps and stuff. So just popped in. I've got the cheapest SIM card you could get, which was $25 for six gigabytes of data and then $10 to set it up. So it was 30 seven dollars with tax and everything so just to let you all know if you don't want to use your, your data roaming or you don't get data roaming over here in the us t-mobile you could have unlimited for sixty dollars for a month uh, if you're coming for like three three weeks or so and you're going to be on loads you can get unlimited i just got six gigs which is enough for just driving around google maps and it was 35 so just to let you all know and you can do a virtual one or they just put another sim in for you dead quick and easy uh, so T-Mobile, you'll see them dotted around all over. You put them in Google, just find your nearest one. But that's who I've used for the last few trips now is T-Mobile, and they're pretty spot on. Okay, everyone. So we're back from our little drive on International... Uh, not International Drive, 192. And we've got all of our goodies here. So the first thing we got was this Snapple Earth Cherry and Fig Black Tea. Don't know how that's going to be. Uh, then we've got the Boston Baked Beans to try. These are candies. I like the Boston Baked Beans as like baked beans, oh, but not I as a candy. Nice. Then we've got the Berry Hot Challenge. Sweat, sweet to sweat. So this, I believe, there's a hot gummy bear inside here. And you have to find it. I think, it, I think, I don't know. It says challenge the family. 15 are red and 15 are blue. So I think you're like, you eat them and then it's, it's a bit of as hot. They're going to be interesting. Very interesting. Start sweet, then it's spicy. Or is it how many you can eat? Oh my God, I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. Oh, then nice. I've got this, which is already making me feel a bit ill. Yeah, that's like a pepperoni. I knew there was like pepperoni. Oh, do you like pepperoni? This is a beef jerky stick. I didn't want to get the packs of beef jerky because they were like $10. Yeah, I know. Uh, Americans love beef jerky. Yeah, it just doesn't. Ooh. Right. For me. Then we've got scorching chili and lime Pringles. How to make yourself feel sick before bed. And then... Some M&M's Campfire S'mores. They look really good. They look amazing. Chocolate and white chocolate candies. They do look pretty good. I'll probably finish with them to wash down yeah. all of this stuff. Yeah. What we start with first, then the Snapple. The Snapple, the Snapple, yeah. Oh God. Oh. This is gonna be grim. I don't know why we're doing this. I've seen loads of people doing stuff like this on TikTok and I think you're nuts. And then it you know, came to my idea to do a bit instead of <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> oh, 
It's horrible, isn't it? No, but it tastes what like tasting? cherry. It no, tastes like, like big. Yeah, it's not cherry. It tastes it's like, like they made a nice cherry and big juice and then watered it down. So it's oh. not even like full flavour. And it's a funny, it's a funny colour. New light and ref Oh, it's the tea I'm tasting. The tea's not the going. Tea. Right, that's a no-go from me. That ain't a bottle of Prime, put it that way. Right, Boston oh. Bean Candies. Whoever told you these were beans was, were jerking your chain, but you didn't mind. At the centre of these delightful little candies was a crunchy peanut, and you loved peanuts. You also loved the hard candy coating, which you could savour slowly, letting it dissolve in your mouth or crunch to your heart's content. But make no mistake, these weren't your grandmother's baked beans, and they still aren't. What a weird description for a box of candies. Get. We don't know what we're going to get with these. There's a nut in the middle by the sound of it. I don't know. You know, at the time when I was buying this, I thought it was funny. Now it's actually come to actually doing it. I feel a bit ill. Who, who comes up with these ideas? Who comes up with the... Oh, I'll make some Boston baked bean candies. Did he actually smell it? You're having one, aren't you? Oh, that's cinnamon. I don't know. Right. They're, they're, I know they're hard. Oh, they're weird. They're like M&M's. They're not. They're weird. They're a bit like a, a peanut M&M, but with a weird flavour to them. That's a candy coat. Oh, I'm now. No, I'm not keen on them. Weird them. Oh, no. They're weird. Oh, Candy coated peanuts. Not fussed on them. Right, it's two down. Right, sorry, I had to cut there to get a splash because I felt ill. Oh, I can't. Not gonna lie, it smells like dog food. I was about to say that then. <laughs> it smells oh, like dog food. And it looks like it. Oh, it looks like a dog treat. It does. It looks like the ones you give Rio when you like. And it comes to the same wrapper. Come on, Rio! <laughs> <laughs> oh, who eat? If you eat these at home, kudos to you, but. Oh, this is gonna be the worst, I reckon. Yeah. Oh. oh just, it's the way it looks. It's the way it's like shrink wrapped. No, oh, right. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> oh, no, I can't do it. <coughs> no. I can't do it. No. <coughs> oh, no. I'm going to be sick. Don't, because I'll, I'll come up before you even try it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that is grim. It smells. It Get smells it away. Grim. That, uh, the texture of it. What's wrong with the texture of it? Feel it, it's like fibery. Yeah. Oh. That'll be the mechanically, <laughs> the um, mechanically separated chicken. No. Don't know how, oh no, that's horrible. Now I've tried normal beef jerky when I was a kid and it wasn't bad. But I think the other beef flavor. jerky where it's like flat, that it's them sticks. But well, these, these are, um, what's the word? Uh, really processed, so the ones on the You could tell it was like biting into a piece of plastic. Oh, eh? Hey. Oh, I don't um, know how people do that. Right, so now we've got scorching, chilli and lime Pringles. If you eat them beef jerky sticks, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Oh, the tip is the texture more than anything. Still smell it. It's like biting into a piece of plastic. Oh. Ooh. You like the smell of these, do yeah. you? Yeah. Mm, smell alright, actually. A little bit I have one. Right. These might actually be nice. Now I think I can have these. I can't have fingers in the UK.
Oh no, I can't have it. Tastes lovely, but they are fire. You'd like it. Try a little bit. You'll like it. Ooh. 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 Oh my God. Well, they do say scorching on them. Hot, aren't they? I've had to eat a whole one. <laughs> I did. You're going to eat the rest of these. Enjoy. Oh, they're spicy. Do you know what? They're nice then. I'd eat them. Flavour's lovely, but my word, they've got a kick. Right, so what yeah. we're doing with these gummy bears then? More spice. Well, at least it's not beef jerky. Spicy. What do you do with these? Chew it properly. Nice. Is it not, not spicy? No. Nice. I promise you it was nice, it was just a sweet gummy bear. Promise you. Ugh. Did you get one, did you? Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it now. <laughs> <coughs> oh my word, yeah. Oh my god. That's hot. I'm getting rid of it. There you go. No, I'm not eating it. Oh my god, that's hot. Oh. They're weird. Then my first one was sweet, and then the second one I had with you was, was hot. Let me see if I get another entire blue oh, one. The sweet one was nice and the hot one is hot. Hot one's just like fire. I know. I can't tell. No, my mouth's just tingling. Sweet. My mouth is tingling. Oh, they're interesting. I'm going to take them home and try and get dad with one of them. Give him some gummy bears. I'll just put no, them in a little a bag. Spicy one. Another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're all spicy, I still don't understand. So there's 15 sweets, 15 red and 15 blue. I don't know how many hot ones there are. I don't know. Oh, the th there is 30 hot gummies. So how many is in there? 30. So they're all hot. They're all hot. Oh. They start off sweet and then go really spicy. So what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to take them home. We'll put them in a little, uh, nice little bag. And I'll Back say up. I've got some nice American gummies. Leave them out. And dad being dad will grab a whole handful. Shove them down. Yeah. That, that's the mouse up in. They're hot them. They're really good. It's just, just heat, isn't it? Right. Campfire s'mores. Now this this should be a nice nice yes. little finish. I can have these as well. Oh my god, no more. Fire in it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're I've nice then. Yeah. You get a real marshmallow taste towards the end. Yeah, there it is. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very small, just very marshmallow. Very marshmallow, they are. I yeah. can't tell if I like them really, though. They taste a bit too artificial marshmallowy. Well, yeah. Artificially flavoured. No. Yeah, but like the OTT. Well, we know the American m ms are OTT because the caramel ones are absolutely stunning, but they're just pure sugar, aren't they? That one was a bit nicer. I think maybe having a few that when you haven't had a Snapple, Scorching Pringle, Boston Bean and Hot Gummy Bears might be a bit uh, a bit better. Hooked on this stuff, by the way. The uh, the hydration version is just lovely. I just like the drink. Just like it. I'm not fussed on the cans. The caffeine sends your head and all that. I haven't been drinking the cans, but the bottles, 20 calories in them. I do like them. Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? I like them as well, to be fair. When you're on the go in the heat, they are nice, to be fair. You sort of just been buying them. Well, there you go. That concludes a little bit of our uh, challenge there. 
good fun thing to do. It cost about what twenty dollars, fifteen, twenty dollars. Yeah. If I could eat those Pringles, for all that. So I you'd want like them, yeah. But I can't eat them. The Snapple. Ugh. Horrible. Lad. I know. They're just that? weird. They're weird. They're not horrible, but they're just weird. Gummy bears, I suppose, are funny. They'd be a good thing to put in. Just get a bag of um, get a bag of go. <laughs> yeah, Harry, Harry Bell gummy bears. And just whack them in put there. them in a bowl and then mix them in. And then when the family comes, it takes mouthfuls. <laughs> and then the M&Ms, I'm going to give them another try. They're nice, but they taste a little bit OTT, if that makes sense. Over the top, like Sweet like they're trying too flavors. hard to yeah. be to be s'mores, if that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking nonsense. But uh, there we go. That's going to conclude our little vlog. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to get to bed nice and early. Been watching a little bit of Netflix, a little bit of... Um, I've got Netflix on. I've got this fishing show on. Yeah. That I've been watching. Fish Count. Um, where there's, there's like fish wars. These fishermen boats going out. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Do please give a thumbs up. If you do any American challenges when you're over or try anything particular, let us know. If you eat these, then I've got no words. I've yeah. got no words. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe. Loads more Florida content on the way. And uh, thank you very much. Stride on. Bye, guys.